Welcome to this week's vlogging video. This one is extra fun because I'm going through my journey on how I started my seven figure blog. So I am Sophia. I started the seven figure blog called bysophialee.com. We're now a team of seven, but when I originally started, I was 19 years old and I did it from my dorm room and I was absolutely broke in the last five years i have really learned so much and there's been so many parts to the journey that i think could be helpful for you so i'm gonna kind of like go through my entire journey and tell you how i started a seven figure blog i'm getting my drink for this one because this could be a long one it's gonna be like we're friends and i'm we're at the coffee shop talking i was 19 years old i was a sophomore going into my sophomore year of college so this was like august 17th i remember the exact day and um i was paying for college completely on my own and so i was trying to figure out like ways to make extra money basically and so i was searching on the internet like how can i make extra money and I stumbled upon these mom bloggers and they were raising their kids while also doing a blog and they were making like a hundred thousand dollars a month and I was like okay if they can start a blog that makes that much money and raise their kids at the same time like I can definitely start a blog out of my dorm room and make money off of it so that was like one of the ways but then two I'm very, very strategic and I'm very like forward thinking about the future. And so I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna start a blog, like what should it be about? And I knew that my end career goal and what I was in school for was to be an interior designer and I wanted to own my own interior design firm. So I kind of was like, what can I do that, to work backwards that will then get me to that like end goal of owning a design firm? And so at the time I was a sophomore in college and freshman year when I went to college, I didn't care about what the classes I was taking. I cared about what my dorm room looked like. Like I would fall asleep at night thinking about like, okay, how am I gonna set up my dorm room bed? How am I gonna decorate the walls, etc. And I knew that if I cared about that, that there were gonna be a lot of other people that also cared about that. And there really wasn't a resource for me when I went to school. And then I also knew, I was like, okay, if they care about decorating their dorm room, they're gonna care about decorating their apartment and eventually their home. And that will kind of get me to that end goal of starting a design firm. And so from the beginning, I really knew that like starting a blog could get me to, you know, like, I don't know, it could be my marketing engine that then fueled my career, got me knowledgeable, got people trusting me and becoming an expert, Google trusting me, YouTube trusting me, so that then when I launched the design firm, it was like, oh, an oh duh moment. Like, of course she's starting a design firm. Like, that makes complete sense. But at that time, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I was stalking these mom blogs hardcore and I was trying to figure out like, okay, how do they do it? This is clearly not like the other blogs that I follow on Instagram. They don't even have an Instagram or like any other social media. They only have Pinterest and blah, blah, blah. And so I started like hardcore, I don't know, I, I just was stalking them. Like honestly, I was like looking at every single thing that they were doing, how they set up their blog posts, etc. I was finding that a lot of them were taking courses. So then I was like, okay, well, then I wanna take the courses that they're taking because obviously like if they're that's this successful, then like maybe I can be this successful. And I started researching like, okay, what's the best hosting? Like, I didn't even know that you had to have a blogging host. But then after stalking them, I was like, okay, no, you definitely need a blogging host. Everyone was recommending WordPress and Bluehost. So like, that's what I did. Um, P.S. If you wanna know exactly like how I started the blog, step by step because it is a little bit confusing. I have a blog post that I'll link in the description. And so then I did that and then I was like, okay, I'm not a website designer. Like I don't want to spend a lot of time. And that was something that they were harping on too is like, especially with them being moms, like they just didn't have a lot of time. And even though I wasn't a mom, I really resonated with that because I did not have a lot of time either. And so they would like just like they always said ROI, like return on investment. So now I always started saying ROI and then every single thing that I did, I was like, am I gonna earn money from this? Which I still do to this day. And that's something that they did. So like, I really just learned a lot. I think that's like, now it's it's like roles reverse almost. Cause I think a lot of people do that for us too. Is like, how did she do this? 
And the biggest takeaway that I got was like, this is not luck, this is strategy. There's many strategic things that you need to do to actually start a successful log. Okay, so that was like kind of how we got started. Um, and then from there, once I actually started the blog, I was like, I just learned, there was so much more to it, so much more than I even thought. Like at first, of course, when I went into it, I was like, oh, people are just randomly deciding what they wanna write and then writing about it. No, not at all. There's so much strategy. You have to be posting a certain amount of time ahead to get things to rank. I didn't even know about ranking, making Google happy, making Pinterest happy. I realized the power of Pinterest. Like, I think that was one of the biggest takeaways from the beginning was that these mom bloggers, like they didn't have Instagrams, like I said earlier, like they were strictly just posting on their website and just posting on Pinterest, which was really attractive to me in the beginning because I was like embarrassed. And so I didn't want to put myself out there on Instagram yet. Like, so I started this blog anonymously, of course, now I'm not anonymous. I think like two years into it, I was like, okay, like now I wanna start becoming an expert in this and people to get to know me as a person so that I can start the other things. But in the beginning, I was fully anonymous because I could. I just had the website and I just had Pinterest. Um, I also learned that Pinterest, like on Instagram, people are scrolling through pictures. Like I even think about me, how often do I actually click on someone's link on Instagram. Like it's rare, maybe once a day, maybe. But on Pinterest, you are constantly clicking onto someone's website. Like that's the whole point of the platform is to get someone to their website. And so I started realizing the power of that and I really, really utilize Pinterest. Check out my Perfecting Pinterest course if you wanna see how my strategy for that. But I just really started utilizing that and I got more and more page views. And then I knew that like, because of these other mom bloggers, like the way that they were earning a lot of income was from their ad agencies. Um, so I was like, my first goal is to get into an ad agency. I needed page views for that. So that's why I really hit Pinterest hardcore because that was like the easiest way to get page views. Still to this day, it's the easiest way to get page views. And then I got into my ad network and then I started learning about affiliate marketing, which was like a whole nother beast. Um, so I took a course on affiliate marketing and just like how to like it, there's a lot of like psychology behind it because you want to be friends with the people you don't want to come off that you're being salesy but you also like want them to click on your links and so um like that was really helpful and i realized like about six months in okay like this is a really good idea. Like people are starting to read this stuff. Um, I still didn't have, I did not have a lot of traction and I was treating it like a full-time job from the very beginning. So it was a lot of work that like wasn't seeing a lot of traction, but I did start to see that traction and that really fueled me. And then like reading income reports from these mom bloggers. Like I started writing income reports because these mom bloggers had income reports and they were so motivational to me. I still have all of the income reports that I wrote up. So that's another thing that I'll link in the description. But I basically started doing that. And then also from the mom bloggers and listening to podcasts and taking courses and et cetera, I started learning the power of your email list. And so as I kept going on and on, now I'm like at like year, a year and a half, two years. I don't even really know the exact timeline, but. I was like, okay, I need to start growing an email list. And with that email list, I was like, how can I get people on the email list? Like people aren't just going to go on the email list because they like me, like no way. Like, And so then I was like, okay, free principles. Like again, strategy, everything is strategy. Um, and so I started doing that. And then with the free printables, I was a college student. I'm very type A, I'm very organized. It's just how I work, how my brain works. And um, I was like, my free printable is going to be a planner, a digital planner that people can print out because I was already creating these for myself because I couldn't find a planner that I really loved. And so I was like, this is so easy. I already have them created, I'll just make this. And then it, it works perfectly because everyone's coming for college dorm rooms. Usually if you're interested in the way your space looks, you're pretty organized too. And so it like just really went hand in hand. Well, that ended up being, <laughs> just a really great decision for me because I saw that those were really popular. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can sell these on my own and just make it like super good and make them like way better. Am I focused? I really hope I'm focused. That would be such a shame. I was like, okay, I'm gonna launch a Shopify store. So I did the research again on like, 
what's the best platform for a store. So there's like Shopify, WooCommerce, I don't really know any other ones, but again, everyone was recommending Shopify. All of the big names had Shopify. So that was a whole nother beast because then I had the blog and then I had um, the Shopify store, but those two worked hand in hand because then I would basically like do a tripwire. And so when someone got on my email list and they downloaded the um, planner, I like did a tripwire and basically tried to upsell them for like a limited time deal that was like very, very inexpensive, like really inexpensive where they wouldn't even have to think about it, but they got so much value. Um, and so that was able to start generating me a little bit of income. And so I really just started figuring out and the same time, I'm really going on, this is, I don't even know if this is helpful, but I just love listening to people's stories. But at the same time, I was reading a lot of self-help books. Clearly I was like, I don't know what I was doing. I was in a moment. And um, I read Four Hour Work Week. And in Four Hour Work Week, they really, he really harped on like, if you can hire someone else to do it for less than, what your time is worth, do it. And so I was making like $400 a month, but I put aside $200 to pay someone to help me with my website and they would link and they would do things that I didn't need to do so that I could spend other time growing other parts of the website. And so that's how I really started my team. And I was not earning a lot of money, like $400 a month, that was not a lot of money. And I put more than half of it towards hiring people like, um, digital assistance or whatever. And then the other half I put towards taking courses. I took so many courses. I swear by courses. They're the best thing that I did for my blog was taking courses because it just grows, you, grows your website so much faster instead of you trying to figure things out. And so that's really how I started the team. And then that kind of like built up. Um, I was getting a lot more people like trusting me and knowing me from the dorm stuff and about like three years in, so I started when I was a sophomore, but three years in, I was graduating college, I was earning sub really substantial money, and I was able to take it full time, but I was also like, okay, this is the next step of my career, I'm moving into apartment, I still have the dorm room, like blogging is really passive income, so basically once you do it, like it keeps generating income for a long time, so I was like, I have a team, doing the dorm stuff. Um, it's going to generate income for a while. I don't want to write about dorms for my entire career, but this was the starting off point that I needed to do to then jump to the next part, which is like writing about apartments. Cause again, that goes back to if someone's interested in decorating their dorm room, they're going to be interested in decorating their apartment and eventually their home. And so with an apartment, I have my own space. Um, and I was like, this is the time where I'm going to launch my other social medias and really, really start like a brand. And instead of being just super, super helpful to the people reading my blog, which I still stand behind today is like, how can we be the most helpful website out there? I now am like, I want people to like me too, because the personal connection is what can really drive my design firm. So then I launched Instagram and YouTube, which was like a whole nother beast. I also did things in a way that like, I really took on one thing at a time and didn't overwhelm myself so that I could become an expert in that one thing. Like first it was, first it was starting my blog, then it was Pinterest, then it was SEO, then it was email list, then it was Shopify, then it was Instagram, then it was YouTube, and then it was TikTok. And so there was like a constant progression on how I did things um, and it was so hard. Like for the first two years of Instagram, I posted every single day on my story. Every single day, which is like, you're really putting yourself out there. Like you get a lot, it's embarrassing. It's like people are judging you, especially when you don't have a lot of followers. It, people are coming into the office. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's I'm filming Day. a video. <laughs> and I was tired. Like I was working literally like, it's one thing, this is gonna make me sound like a crybaby and I'm not at all, I'm very, very grateful, but it adds a whole nother dimension to film every single part of your life and I was doing everything that I like to do, but it almost was like a job because I had to film it and you're getting constant feedback, good and bad, but of course like you remember the bad things way more than you remember the good things, which is just human nature. Um, 
And so that was really hard, but I started to garner that community and I really saw the benefits of that at the same time. So I was growing like that side of things, the social media side and really getting myself like established to start the design firm. And at the same time, the um, free printables for the email list were really growing. And remember how I started the printable of the planner, of the digital planner, and then also I was like, I'm gonna do a really, really good one and then sell it for inexpensive. Those were selling really great, but we were getting constant feedback that like, I wish this was in paper form that I didn't have to print out, which like obviously that made complete sense. Like that was a lot of pages to print out. And so then that led us to our first actual tangible product, which was, the planner. And so um, I started like the Shopify, I already had that set up, but I had to get in touch. I mean, again, like that was a whole nother beast was figuring out manufacturers, figuring out shipping, shipping costs, um, customer service, like, but we learned so, so much from that. And they, they sold out and now today, like, we're actually switching it from the by Sophia Lee name. So the whole planner business is gonna be like the daily. Get it, D-A-I-L-E-E.com, get it, okay. Um, and I realized like the power in like very niche planners. And so like that was another like business that completely started from the blog that I would have never ever done if it wasn't for the website. Okay, <laughs> now we have a lot of things happening. Okay, so then um, to start to do my design firm, I was like, how can I get to that next step? Like, obviously I've shown people that I can decorate my apartment. Like I have the following for apartment, but a house is a whole nother level. And like, how can I get someone to trust me to hire them for their $100,000 kitchen project or more when like, I haven't actually designed a kitchen. And so I took, I was like, I'm gonna reinvest money from the business and buy a flip house. Um, and basically like renovate it up and down. We're not doing it like traditional flip home. I'm not doing cheap stuff. Like we're going all out so we can, it's like a brand project. Like we can really show people what we can do. And at the same time, we'll film the entire thing so that we can put it on social media, keep garnering that community, showing people everything, you know, the good and the bad. Um, while also getting ourselves a portfolio. So that's what we did last year. It was super successful. We're just launching the episodes. We like hired a production company to film the entire thing. We're just launching the episodes right now. So definitely make sure to check that out. But that's kind of where I am right now with everything. Um, but it all started from this like little blog. And I'm so grateful that I started it back then because I I knew that I was like taking it very seriously and that it was gonna turn into something, but I definitely think that it turned into more than what I could have ever imagined. So I don't know how helpful that was for you, but I do find it interesting to see like how other people started their businesses. And if you have any questions, I can do like a part two to this video. Um, so make sure to comment then. If you wanna know how I started my blog, I have the how to start a blog post which is linked in the description, but also I have the courses, I have perfecting blogging, perfecting Pinterest, and perfecting email. Those go literally into every single detail on how I do every single thing on the website. They are so helpful, so nitty gritty, and can really help you skyrocket your website. So definitely check those out. Subscribe to this channel. I post a blogging video every single week, but that really wraps it up. So I will see you at next week's blogging video.